Hello, hello, hello YouTube and welcome to this video where, I'll be honest, I've recorded this video before but the audio didn't record so that was like a five minute video which just has to go in a bin now because the audio didn't record so if you could leave a like for me messing up and having to record this video again that would be greatly appreciated but in the comment section down below if you want someone else for me to review make sure you tell me and I'll play a few games with them and make a review of them within a certain budget I've got like 400,000 coins so if it if it's within that budget and I go okay I'll make a team around him I'll review him but anyway Freddy Guardian let's get into the review uh, yeah, if you don't know who Guardian is he plays in the Chinese League yeah Chinese League he used to play in I think it was for Inter Milan or someone like that or the, I think that was Hernandez actually he used to play somewhere else in a more like sought after league and he was he was OP but he's picked up an inform on this FIFA so I thought you know what it's this card as you say I bought him a tank this is the second one I bought actually so I have played more than 10 games with him but I just to let you know that and uh, what was I saying oh yeah he's he's a discard inform so you can, I thought you know what can't really lose looks good 4 star 4 star 6 force He's a lot taller than I thought he was. I thought it, in game he doesn't look that tall, but I just thought I'd give him a go, and am I glad I gave him a go? He's so good. <laughs> it's Gator seen, but he is really good. Like if you look at his, as I said, high high work rates. That I'm playing him as a wide cam. It's the team I'm using him in. I am playing him as a wide cam, so that's probably not the best with his pace. But pace isn't really relevant this FIFA, and he. I push shadow on him. Just I did only push shadow on the last couple games, so I can't really tell you if it makes a difference. But it's looking good so far. Um, yeah. yeah if you look at his in-game stats, as I said let's go through them one by one. His pace, yeah, it's it's not good. But if you use him more centrally as a cam or a centre mid, I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, he'd make a good DM. Like if you, as I say, you push shadow on, he doesn't really need sentinel because. If you look at our strength, he's already got 93 strength, and we'll come to that later. But if pace, if you're using them where I'm using them, I think you need a shallow card on them, or a hunter, or a catalyst, or something like that, just to really up that pace. But he, yeah, he gets away with it because he's just that good. And if you look at his shooting, the stats that always stand out is 99 shot power and 90 long shots. And with long shots being as OP as they are on this FIFA, he's just he's just a beast. He really is. Like he's, he seems to score every long shot you shoot, and that's without like a chem style up in it. It's just 99 shot power, 90 long shots, and every one of them seems to go in. Even when he's inside the box, and also 72 finishing, but he seems to score quite a lot. As I say, like this, I've only scored one goal in 10 games, but that, I think this is a jinx card to be honest, because the one I had before was scoring loads. Yeah, but that one was in a lot of them were in squad battles, whereas this one has been on foot division rivals and I've got two teams a fitness team keep swapping them so not all with this team anyway yeah but yeah his, his shooting seems really good like I can't really fault it to be honest with you not really no uh, anyway passing it's a bit manual you don't really care about anything in passing maybe curve if you're playing them more centrally you might want to up his curve maybe you put a dead eye on him I think the does shooting and passing, yeah, maybe a dead eye or an artist, or I think it's architects, the other one, uh, or marksman. What one of them, one of them does pace shooting and dribbling. Maybe you want to do that one, wouldn't actually be a bad one for this one, but I put a shadow on him. I just punched me, Mike. There, sorry for your ears, although you'd have been listening to my voice, so <laughs> so yeah, passing's manual. Dribbling is dribbling 79. But as you can see, the stats that stand out are ball control and balance, and you you really do feel it. Like he, he the ball's glued to him when he was run up and down the pitch. As I say I've got him as a wide cam. He does track back with a high high work rate, so that shadow card really does help with the defending. And is is dribbling yet? Yeah, is agility? It, I'm not gonna lie, it, it feels a bit more than 68, because he looks smaller in game. So he, that's why I thought oh, his agility is so good. I'd say his agility jealousies at least mid 70s if not mid 80s but yeah he's, he's just his, his dribbling is really good his defense and now his interceptions are so good 
I don't know why. 74 isn't really that high, but that rhymed. But I, he, he just intercepts quite, yeah, he just lunges. He could really be a downfall if he lunges and misses, but so far he hasn't missed. So hopefully that continues. And his, his stand tackle is quite good. Yeah, it, I don't know why that's bad defending stats. Well, it's not really bad defending stats. He's an all-round, but like, look at that card. All-round, he's just stupidly good. It's just because he's in a bad league. And then, if you look at his physical, obviously his stat that stands out is 93 strength. I'll be honest, he doesn't play like he's got 93 strength. He plays like he's got 9,000. No, I don't know why I was chatting there, because he does feel strong. His aggression... I thought he had high aggression. Obviously with 86 physicals, only one stat above 86. But it's, it's the one that counts, to be honest. Obviously stamina is a big thing. So 81 stamina really helps, especially in, when it comes to late game. Um, yeah, to be honest, that, that, that's a it. really good card. I would recommend him, especially for his price. I did do this last video, and it froze me FIFA. Why does it say 15 million duration? You know what, EA? You have made the best game in the world. This is 8 out of 8. I would masturbate. Anyway, because me FIFA throws, I'm going to have to end the video there. But to sum it up, I give him a 7.5 out of 10. Quite possibly an 8. Because his shooting is just so good. His strength is so good. His positioning. I play him as a wide cam. Obviously, if you want to play him more centrally, he might play a bit different. might play, possibly play better, to be honest with you. Because he, he doesn't have to track back. But with the high, high work rate at all, making him a wide cam. Plus, this, this the probably seen the team four. I've done a squad build on this team. It's it it this is the probably the best without icons. Probably the best team I could have put him in. So, so yeah, but for his price, obviously ten out of ten. You're not not going to get him cheaper than discard. If worse comes to worse and he doesn't rise, just quick sell him. You lose like eight coins or whatever. But he will rise, 100% will. I think he's already rose, but I obviously can't check his price because EA are the best company in the world. But if you want to like this video, leave a like on this video if EA are the best company in the world and subscribe if your nan's dead. See ya.